Assalamu alaikum hello guys in this video i am going to explain you about wankel rotary engine also called apitrochoidal engine so this engine is designed by a german engineer felix wankel in 1929 unlike a reciprocating engine it has a very few moving parts here i have a single rotor wankel engine regarding its parts there is a left side housing in which there is a fixed timing gear it cannot rotate it is fixed with this side housing then there is a center housing in which there are exhaust port intake port and a spark plug for the engine then there is a triangular shaped rotor equivalent to piston in reciprocating engine it has an internal timing gear which has greater teeth than this fixed timing gear on the left side housing then there is an eccentric shaft and here its eccentric part then there is a right side housing how is they going to be attached i am going to explain you this actually the rotor sets itself on the eccentric part of the eccentric shaft as shown here then the center housing and the side housings are attached and attached by this assembly so then this fixed timing gear on the side housing meshes with the internal timing gear of the rotor and it ensures that the one complete rotation of the rotor is equal to the three rotations of this eccentric shaft and meshing i am showing here the red one is for internal timing gear which is greater than the fixed timing gear shown by green here and the rotor is moving and the gear is fixed one complete rotation of the rotor is equals to the three rotations of this eccentric shaft next i am going to explain you about the combustion cycle for wankel rotary engine but first here it is then a petrochoidal shape on which the design of the wankel rotary engine is based more specifically the housings are made just like a petrochoids that's why these engines are also called a petrochoidal engine remembering this one rotor rotation is equal to three eccentric shaft rotations as i explained earlier i am going to explain the cycle each side of the rotor ab bc and ca is a combustion chamber i am going to explain ab the intake happens then ab compresses the air fuel mixture then spark plug ignites and power produced will push the rotor in clockwise direction then the exhaust port will open and burnt gases will escape so for every combustion chamber ab bc and ca there will be one power stock producing so that's why in one rotor rotation in one rotor rotation there will be three power stocks so in one eccentric shaft rotation there will be one power stroke by this equation as i explained you earlier moving towards the advantages of the wankel rotary engine it has few moving parts unlike the reciprocating engines it has no pistons no valve trains and no connecting rods etc the turbulence produced by this rotor avoids hot spots in the housing material of the wankel engine which will avoid the knocking and detonation problem in wankel rotary engine the more power is producing per shaft rotation in wankel rotary engine unlikely to a four stroke petrol engine in which one power stroke is producing per two shaft rotations but here in wankel rotary engine for each shaft rotation there will be one power rotation then moving towards the disadvantages of the wankel rotary engine there will be the unburnt fuel just because of this less ignition timing some of the fuel will unburn just like the conventional two stroke engine for the same reasons it has low thermal efficiency it has less fuel economy and very high emissions one of the reasons for the high emissions is its low boil system it's just like a conventional two stroke low boil system for lube oil system it has a hole 
just besides the intake uh, the intake port for the vehicle engine it has a hole for lubrication by which the lube oil is introducing in the engine and it will burn with the air fuel mixture which will produce high emissions and some of the cars Mazda Rolls Royce are using Wankel rotary engines so that's all from my side if you have any questions you can comment below I'll try to answer them thanks